after update 1.3.0, two weeks after launch, Marvel's Avengers is still a live service game with daily activities that are broken and cannot be completed. A gear focused game with no loadout locker to save or quickly switch between builds, a multiplayer game with no ability to join a session in progress, a broken experience where enemies won't spawn and progress can be fully halted, a Marvel game with only two villains. Marvel's Avengers isn't ready. I try to play with others and it splits us into our own sessions. Repeatedly, I try to play through your suddenly single-player focused hive mode and encounter consistent progress halting bugs, regardless of how many times I reload a checkpoint, but to then come to the discord or the subreddit and realize that you can actually receive one star loot for completing this repetitive 20 minute plus solo experience? No, understand. I'm no stranger to investing time to get these characters somewhere, but not being able to command my AI companions that aren't even programmed to play to the strengths of the perks the, of the gear that I've equipped on them, hell, I'd settle for the ability to command them to alt. Credit where credit is due, Crystal Dynamics, you patched your game, fixing a laundry list of issues, of bugs, of glitches, but quite frankly, it should never have launched in this state in the first place. Very generous of you to issue challenge points as compensation for our frustration, but when you realize that the challenge card levels are often populated with palette swap skins or pictures of locations, why didn't you just give us the money? Marvel's Avengers isn't ready and has a long way to go. Still buggy enough to halt progress, extremely bad rewards across the board on all missions, no ping system or AI commands, unlock skins still reverting to being locked, emotes but no emote wheel, the in-game vendor still not allowing us the ability to preview what we're buying in a $60 game with $14 skins and $12 takedowns. I'm shocked. This is a Marvel property and has the potential to print money, but there ain't enough here there's not enough on offer, and until it's fixed, and there's more variety, you've given this game the kiss of death. I'm honestly not sure whether I should be happy that the game's released because of how long it's going to take for the heroes like Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Scarlet Witch, and Doctor Strange to end up in the game four months apparently, with a one hero a month schedule, or actually half a year, since the next two months will be devoted to the two archers that are coming out? Or should I be saddened? that no matter how much better this game gets, potentially, it will still have ruined its first impression and left a bad taste in the mouths of players who rightfully have no reason to spend more time in a game that was as broken when they first played it as this one. I recognize the progress that you are making and even though I may be the type to love the combat and the skill system enough to potentially even waste time, if you were to dump two heroes into the harm room right now, I know my friends wouldn't. And I'd be both a fool and the definition of insane if I subjected myself to more of this in its current state. Because I did do it, trust me. It's the game, Dia. And what's worse Mine is says 412. Mine says 413. It says three on my screen. I shit you not. Yeah, I can see it, and I don't know why. I just wanted to relive and create new Marvel moments. Experiences I could share with friends and potential friends. With a shared interest in the universe of characters that I honestly never expected to jump off the page in the 90s, to evolve out of TV shows in the 2000s, to go further than the Spider-Man and the X-Men movies that populated and now dominate our culture and have for the better half of two decades. Maybe I'm alone. That sure seems to be the way you want me to play. And I wouldn't mind. If it worked. If the loot was worthy of the time that I'm spending, please keep working, Crystal Dynamics. Fix this game, play to this title's strengths, play to this property's strengths, put in more heroes, put in way more villains, and let us create and share the experiences that we only can in this universe.
I recorded that a week ago, and in that time a patch has been implemented to fix daily missions that can now be accepted and function as intended. Captain America can actually shield bash opponents and break through big doors, and in this portion I'd like to focus on what I consider necessary to restore and maintain a healthy player base for this game. First up is a patrol mode with a join in progress function. A mode for real players, no AI companions to just land, fight frequently respawning enemies, uh, find respawning chests, and encounter high priority targets via events that frequently occur that will allow for chances at high end gear. The closest thing that we did have to this in this game was wonderful in my opinion, and of course they patched it right the hell out of the game to slow down the gearing up, but why don't they allow it again and make the enemies twice or potentially even three times as strong? You want to be like Destiny so damn bad? Why not embrace it? Make a patrol mode where we can free roam and drift into one another's sessions. Destiny did this in 2014, that was six years ago. Imagine you land as Captain America and counter Iron Man fighting waves of robots and you decide to help him slaughter. Maybe there's proximity voice chat or at least text chat and you guys can just uh, exchange a couple of choice words making this a, a shareable moment, you know what I mean? Get a couple of people seeing this online and they're like, oh man, I wanna play that game. Maybe they make you laugh, or you coordinate well. High stuns, constant takedowns, heroic orbs, maybe one of you's hitting them with that positive and the other's hitting them with that negative, so you inspect each other's gear and then you party up. The sky dims, a ship beams down, and a high priority target, fucking Ultron, comes out of the sky and you're trying to beat his ass for a potential legendary or maybe even exotic drop. That's the game that this should be, but it isn't that game right now, and if it were, it'd be very easy to be replayed by a lot of people. Secondly, I think this game requires harm room environments. You know that room with the holograms that like spawns enemies in it? It's a hologram room, right? It's like a holodeck with holograms. So why can't we program it to look like Asgard or Latveria, Atlantis, Wakanda? Give people some visual variety so it doesn't feel like we're waiting months between heroes and content drops with anything different than us running around in grass, snow, and desert on the way to the goddamn robot factory, homie. I don't think I need to say anything more about that. Why isn't there a build loadout saver? I don't want to spend too much time in this, I'm sure. I'm sure this will be implemented shortly. Should have been in here at launch, but that's all right. But just make it so we can swap between our different gear loadouts because we're 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 building up quite a and uh we got some shit in the bank right now, if you understand what I mean, the people who have been playing anyway. Um in a dream world, we would like to be able to switch between the AI-controlled heroes, but considering how buggy everything is right now, a lot of us will settle for the ability to just command these AI. And I, I've heard whispers that it's coming, so let's not even waste too much time. It's just one of them things that I think needs to be in it to make this real smooth, you know what I mean? There needs to be way more than two villains, okay? Do I need to say more than that? You think people weren't going to get bored fast with Taskmaster and Abomination? I'm guessing you didn't, because you didn't even allow MODOK to be fought outside of the single player campaign. And some of these losers are gargling the balls of this developer so hard that they're trying to count Monica as, as a villain? A boss maybe, my dude, but a villain? You know what I mean? Where do we stop? Should we count all of the dudes in mechs as villains? What are you talking about? Here's it. Let me, this is what I really think this game needs. And this is gonna sound crazy to you, okay? Way better skins. And an emote wheel, obviously. Captain America and Thor should have skins with different shields and hammers, full stop. Hulkbuster skins could match the skin that he's wearing, or at least have a more visually interesting animation with like the pieces flying to him, just like the scene, oh, I can't talk about the movies because you're, you're your own intellectual property and you're going in different directions. All I'm saying is the load animation for Iron Man is entirely too long and you could have visually done something interesting with that, but instead he kind of just like 
phases in like he's being teleported there and it still takes forever? Bro, how boring are this game's skins? It's easily the most alarming part of this entire game, to be honest, because it makes you wonder, is it, that, is it that they don't know what people want to buy? Or are they so in love with ruining what's already perfect that they're only going to sell something that they believe that they kind of did from scratch, but they also took inspiration from? It's 2020, and y'all made a game with, with emotes but no emote wheel? So, we can only use one emote at a time? Y'all trying to roast yourself? Is that the joke? Could you be less transparent? I mean, it's obvious that the takedowns are what really matters. You give each hero two takedowns and you make them unlock more by buying them directly from the marketplace or through the hero specific challenge cards. My point is this, man, all right? These are just the reasonable adjustments that I feel need to be made to keep the player base healthy. Personally, I'd love the ability to add modifiers to custom harm room sessions Imagine I go to the harm room and I can choose what modifiers are there so I can prepare myself by making a build that can withstand this kind of crap in a real mission. There should be endless harm room session modes where I'm getting rewards every five or 10 waves. You could increase the hero traversal, give me a bigger stat percentage when I'm collecting comic books, let me customize my room of my favorite hero and allow me to find props out in the, in the wild and then bring that home and decorate my room just like in Warframe. I don't... I feel like this game hasn't really looked around at the landscape of live services. You, you want to be like some of these things, but you're not going far enough. We should be able to access the war table from anywhere in the hub, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. What I've highlighted here, I consider absolutely necessary. To end this video, I'd like to say that all the people who confuse wanting this game to be better with hatred, you know, uh, how, how, how can you see past your mom's titty in your mouth to be typing on a keyboard right now? Do you get what I'm saying? I'd like to impress upon you that maybe there are more than two points on a spectrum that love and hatred aren't the only two extremes uh, unless you know it's you we're talking about because you're a fool you know defending releases like this with phrases like all games are buggy at launch and this stuff never happens to me and if you're if you're really going to type that in the comment section i love you because it's like you're 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 roasting yourself you're an idiot you know even when you're watching clips of streamers and and people running into these things right in front of your face, you're defending it. You're just sucking. You know what I mean? The game is averaging 5,000 players on PC right now, and it's hemorrhaging players daily. And these people are right to leave if they don't feel that the experience that they're having is fun or functional. If you're having a great time with the game, good for you. That is all that matters. And nobody can take that away from you. But with the ones of us that need the game to offer a little bit something more you know don't hate us because we're we're what's going to get this game somewhere that it needs to be so people out here going oh you hate kamala khan no 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 i said that she's annoying you know what i mean you can find somebody annoying without hating them they don't qualify enough for hatred you know how much they got a reserve in my mind as far as real estate for me to actually hate somebody they don't matter that much homie just like it doesn't mean I, I hate women or hate Muslims. Get the fuck out of here. You're conflating it with all of this comedic stuff because I guess you're the type of person who plays the game in this state and is satisfied with that. But maybe some of us aren't just satisfied with anything. So I want y'all to understand something real clear. People like me won't play the game without stuff like this in it. Its current state is not enough. People like you may continue to play and may love it and be fine with it as it is, but people like you aren't enough to keep it alive. Ask the people who played Marvel Heroes. These dudes were dumping hundreds of dollars, sometimes like daily, sometimes weekly on skins. It wasn't enough. It wasn't gonna keep that game alive. P people data mining <laughs> this game are the real heroes. You understand me? the real life superheroes because they're keeping what would be non-existent hype and attention for this game alive. But of course, fuck boys out here clickbaiting saying data mining is bad. It just makes the community and the whole data mining situation look really bad. Bro, 
If this game actually had more than 5,000 players on PC, you wouldn't be able to move without tripping over data miners. Think of how many dozens of data miners and modders exist for Fortnite and Call of Duty. Hell, I remember when Animal Crossing was rolling out them updates. People would have that whole spreadsheet of everything new that's in the game immediately. It's because those games are healthy and have a healthy player base. And if you don't give the players enough, they'll find us somewhere else. That's all I have to say. Take it easy.